Hello, everybody. This is Lavender Mama back on the Guild Rock server once again. And in the last episode, we did the exterior of our first base building. We got that pretty well sorted. And before we can move on to a lot of the interior stuff on that, we need to get some basic farms set up. So we're going to be working on that today. I'm not certain how many we're going to be able to get through, but we're going to start with a lava farm and we need that so that we can set up a super smelter or a small super smelter. And so we are going to work on those today. And if we have time, we might work on something else. So join me as I wander around the Guild Rock server and get a couple of things done here so as you can see i've gotten a bit of a room cleared out so that we can start with the lava farm so i'm gonna go ahead and do that we've got some of our supplies over here in a shulker box um I need to go grab some glass though. So I'm going to do that and I will pop back in once I have the lava farm done. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, welcome back everyone. And just like that, we have our lava farm belt. So we just have a really basic um, dripstone system with our cauldrons underneath. And then if we jump up here, we have access to the actual lava itself, which we will enclose all in glass once we've got the last um, four buckets of lava. And then that'll be done. So now on to the next thing. Let's get a bit of a smelter bit up, built up here that will let us use all this lava to the greatest extent so i will get on that and see you back here in a minute okay everybody welcome back i know it's been a bit and i will say that i forgot to hit record so i'm gonna show you what i accomplished while i was not recording um so that you can see how far we've come. I know I said we were going to put in the smelter, but let's do a little bit of a reveal here. Dun, dun, dun. We have more than the smelter in. Okay. So we, yes, we did get a smelter in and it's just a, a mini smelter with no rail or anything like that behind it. It is just purely a one furnace goes into one barrel from one barrel so i can smelt just one bucket of lava worth of something or i can put in some coal and smelt that way so this is a little bit more usable for me than a big super smelter would be so we've got that done and if you look like behind here you can see just the system I hear arrows going off outside. Um, maybe Lockley is visiting again. Anyways, um, and I got sick of running up and down to upstairs to grab things. So I brought our storage down. And we just have a lot of different things here. Wait a second, I hear dirt. Hmm. I wonder if Lockley's trying to sneak up on us again. Hopefully he doesn't come into anything that I actually want. <sighs> there he is. What is he doing? <laughs> I see him. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, he is hilarious. <sighs> Shall we go find him? 
Oh, what is he up to this time? I think if we go this way. He's like right over here somewhere. I think he was right over here somewhere. The dog is looking at him. <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, right there. Ouch! <laughs> oh, he killed the puppy. <laughs> and where did he disappear to this time? All right, let's let's make this hole go away. Let's see here. I should shoot him. <laughs> episode three means that uh, this is episode three of him startling me. Oh, let's, I can't seem to get up. He really enjoys startling me. Where did he disappear to this time? Oh, he must have gone in. Um, he enjoys startling me a lot. Why am I having issues here? Startling me a lot. So let's see where he's. He must be down in the storage area. Let's see what he's up to. Apparently, he's just visiting to check out all of my stuff. <laughs> Where did he disappear to? I don't know. Anyways, oh, he went down into an area I'm going to show you in a bit. <laughs> oh, he's a goof. Anyways, as I was saying before Lockley so rudely interrupted, we've got all of our storage in here. And then I uh, also have in, these are all our sharklers for can't say it again um our base build stuff since i figured they would pretty much be constantly being reloaded and loaded so i have them all a little space in there and then we've got a little section for our ender chest and some basic storage our mob drops over here our anvil crafting area then we've got um a little bit of a nether wart farm and I'm going to have to answer Nano here. He wants some design services. Um, then we have a manual flower farm. And we just have a bit, you know, where we can put down our one tall flower and boat meal it. And all of our two talls are over here so we can boat meal them. And then we've got a bit of a um, clay maker. So we can just throw our dirt in this line. We've got a water bottle down here and we just make it all mud and let it sit there while we do other things and then collect it all and we've got quite a bit so far over here from just while I was building and then over here we just have a, an auto composter so that we can get some bone meal and I did actually buy some bone blocks from the shopping district because I did need a little bit more bone meal and then we just got a basic bed right here. So that's this area and I'm loving how it's looking. And then if we come down this hallway, I can't widen this anymore. We ran into a bit of an issue where we sunk part of the pond. 
because it's right up there. And if I touch this gravel, it's going to be an issue. Um, so I have started working on, this is the way down into the mines, but I've started working on another area, which was a lot of digging. Um, but I want this area for another tree farm. Uh, a warped wood farm is going to go in here. Also a moss farm, a very small moss farm by uh, Foxy No Tail is going to go in here. And um, hmm, I didn't realize we left some iron. Um, and probably a few other farms, maybe a stacked food farm carrots, potatoes, wheat, that kind of thing, because we do need that to trade with the villagers over in the spawn, um, not the spawn village, but the, um, the guild village. So that is what this space is for. And I kind of like this really grand staircase that I kind of uh, putting in here. It wasn't intentional. It just started while I was, while I was digging out the room. And then I was like, but it's kind of cool. We might actually put that stacked food farm right in here and then get ourselves that nether tree farm down on that end and the moss farm somewhere in here, I think. So I at least want to get the moss farm in yet in this episode. Since it's not a huge build, I think it's one that we can fit in um, because we've gotten a lot done already but I haven't shown you a lot of it yet since I did this whole room without without any video so I'm gonna go ahead and gather up the resources for this farm and then I will pop back downstairs and bring you all back in okay so you just hold on and I will be right back with you as soon as I have that done okay Okay, so we have our shulker box of goodies right here. And we're going to go ahead and steal a few of these things out of here. Because we need these for the main bulk of the belt. So, I am following a tutorial that was done by Foxy No Tail in his Truly Bedrock Season 4 world. So... Uh, we're going to start with, I need a block here. Oops, we forgot an observer. Please and thank you. All right, so we want this guy in bunk, like that. And as you can see, I'm not using my self-touch pick because we kind of ran it down to next to nothing in the creating of this room. Thank you. So this particular farm is a cobblestone generator and then a moss maker. So we also need some pistons. Let's see. We don't need all of this stuff in our inventory right now. And we can take this guy out. All right, so we've got that in there. Then we've got one, two, three, four, and five. Those are gonna push our stone out to make the stone for the moss to take over. All right, so let me jump into this and get this done because I might have to pause and look at his tutorial because this is redstone not my thing and then we will come back to it but I will keep um, I will do a little time lapse on this for you guys okay all right so I'll pop back in when we actually have this completed all right hang in there
Okay, guys, that is it. We have a moss farm, and it is working. It is very loud, and um, we need to put in some blocks down here that won't um, hinder that. I also, we keep getting some spit out from here, so I wonder if I block this as what well. it's spitting right off the back let me put one there will that help it see it's like spitting out the sides here so I think we might need to do a little a little triage there can we do that and make it work a little better Okay, that does did seem to help. So it seemed like it was spitting out of here and also out of the corner of here. So I think maybe that I might have missed something. Oh, no. See, here's another one. Hmm. So it does spit some stuff out. Yep, there goes another one. see here if we block this area we make this double thick I don't know exactly where it's spinning from though that's part of the problem there's so much glass on this thing now <laughs> that is crazy okay let's see here that does seem to be working a little better. We're gonna have to check the bone mail in a second. There's nothing running this way. No, it doesn't seem to be. Okay, that last layer of glass seems like it has done the trick. So we must have covered up whatever hole it was flying out of. But let's shut it off here because I'm not certain how much bone meal we still have in it. Oh, shoot. Didn't mean to do that. We need Silk Touch back here. Um, let's see. Uh, where is the dispenser? Uh, it's under... Uh-oh. We got a piece of cobblestone in there. Which means that our timing is off someplace. Um, okay. Okay. I think we can get to that from the underneath, maybe. Um, but let's check. I think if we come over here, nope, that's where our... Okay, where's our dispenser? Oh, it still has quite a bit in it. If we stick this guy in there, and then we put our glass back. The only problem with this is that if there's anything there when the, the we stop the system, then it doesn't get picked up. Man, that works fast. Holy cats. Yeah, that works fast. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we can shut that off for right now. We don't really need any more for what we're working on right now. Um, mostly, I wanted this to create bone meal. Um, because it gives you so much stuff. So we can use it for our flower farm. But wow. That is a lot in just a... Oh, and it's still filtering through. Wow. And that gives us flowering azalea bushes. That is a lot of moss, though. Um, okay, so I think we almost need to set up another one of the um, automatic bone meal makers 
to um, have right over here that we can throw stuff in. Now this, we are going to take this out and put in some, some brick so that this doesn't happen every time we do some, some work down here. I probably should have thought of that beforehand, but I did not. Um, it looks like maybe this area. I gotta be careful. There's some redstone over there, isn't there? It's kind of a cool shape. Let's run with that. Um, okay, and this, I picked up all of this stuff either from, as you just saw, um, putting the, picking up all of that stuff or from, <sighs> lost my train of thought there. Um, but I got that either from picking up this stuff right here or from where it spit out. So that is a lot. Look at all of that. And it gave us a lot of seeds, which we can use to create part of our farm over here. So that is amazing. Absolutely amazing. That is so much stuff. That was way more than what I was expecting. Let's make some stairs here. Um, so much more than I was expecting. to get out of that so that is amazing that will help us out a lot oh runway um that will help us out a lot to get the flower stuff it done so we have um i think i want to change this out for some glass maybe this one on this end too um and then do we have enough? No, let's make a couple more stairs and then we can um, put stairs on this end as well. So that we can have a way up on either side. Just need a couple more. And we'll put that there, that there. So I'm thinking maybe we get in an automatic bone meal farm here somewhere on the side. Um, but that I need to grab a hop, a couple more hoppers and some. Not what I meant to do. And some composters, and we will go ahead and figure that out. So. I'm going to run back upstairs, grab that stuff. I'll be back down in a minute. Okay, once again, running back into the room with more hoppers. And I think we're going to put it right over here on this side. And I actually decided to do a double. So we're going to go ahead and stick those in there. Then we're going to go... Oops. Please close. One there. One there. Then we're going to do composter and composter. And then another hopper and another hopper. And it just... Oops, I must have placed that one a little long, wrong. Let's try that again. Now it just fell in. Where did they go? They're stuck in there. Because they can't go into a composter. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. And there we go. Now, 
we have a bit of a bone meal maker right here. And we can take some of this that we don't all need. There we go. Sweet. So anything we don't want, we can go ahead and throw in there. Like we've got multiple stacks of moss carpet, which I most likely won't use. What did I do with it? It's another one. Oh, it was right there in my inventory that whole time. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Epic Minecrafter here, people. Okay, so that'll just work its way through. And we've got a nice way to get up and down. Kind of covers that stairwell a little bit. All right. I am so super happy with this. Shall we do a little test here? And run it for literally like a minute. Actually, we need to take all that out, don't we? I can't take all that out. Foam meal maker's just going away over there, isn't it? All right, so let me set a timer here for a minute. And we will test and see how long. Let's do two minutes. This is probably gonna be loud. Okay, and go. Let's see how it does. Boom, you makers. This finally stopped. Oh, wait, no, it hasn't. There we go. Now it has. Alright, do we have anything flying out? I don't see anything. And I think we're gonna have to add some storage to this, though. in a minute. We got another piece of cobblestone over there. Uh-oh. It looks like we lost one of our water sources. Oh yeah, we're out of bone meal. Sorry, dude. Oh, it shot some way over here. How weird is that? Okay. Let's see. If we add bone meal to this, does it... Well, there goes our timer. Okay, let's add this bone meal back into the dispenser. I don't know if we're not going to have to crawl in there and get out that stuff again. So let's... Oh, we need the silk touch. We just do that. And then we put the glass back in. Okay. Holy cats, though. Look at that. 
that was just in less than a minute and a half. That is a lot of stuff. We do not need that many azalea trees. Okay. Let's see. I want to check and see if this actually... Will it... That's just weird, the way that lava comes through like that. Why don't we have one that is doing that? I guess it like changes which one is doing, so. Okay, I think we're gonna call that that good. I'm worried about us running out of bone meal and having to climb in there. See, like, why do we have lava just throwing through there. I don't understand that. Hmm. I'm going to have to do a little look in there. I might have to talk to one of the red stoners. It didn't seem like the lava was falling. So I... I don't know, but we will check that out. We will, I will talk to some of the, the guys and see if I can figure out what, what the deal is with that. Okay, but man, that is prolific. Very, very prolific. So I think we won't have a problem uh, keeping our bone meal together for the flower farm excuse me the flower farm oh shoot I didn't mean to do that I wanted those seeds um but hey this is one more cool thing that we have added to our guild rock world that I am excited about so uh here let's go put these in there I probably am going to build the stacking food farm in the next uh, between now and the next episode so I'll show it in the next episode but I'm not gonna build that on camera because it's just you know it's boring stack up some some dirt plant some crops not a fun thing to watch so I'm gonna um, do that in between episodes and we might do a little decoration on this room in between episodes as well but for now that is going to be it for this week from the Guild Rock server. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you have had a great week. I'm sorry this is a little late, but I had a migraine this week, which meant that there was no, no computer time, no TV time, no nothing, but just work and uh, then come home and try and get rid of this killer headache so I'm sorry this is a little bit late but sometimes life gets in the way of Minecraft and you can't play Minecraft if it makes you want to throw up when you play it so <laughs> I hope that you all have had a wonderful week I hope that your coming week is well and if you celebrate Easter in any way shape or form I hope you have a great Easter and we will see you all next time goodbye